Did they say where they were going? Five Points. Was that unusual for him to go to Five Points? No. When he left, what car what did he leave in? His car, the Impala. What, if anything, did you say to him? Why would you drive that car with blood in it? Any response? No. Do you remember what time they left? It was early morning. What do you mean by early morning? It was after 12 o'clock, so it was another, another day. Okay. Do you know exactly what time? No. Okay. And let me ask you this. What, if anything, was he wearing when he left to go out with his friends? He had changed clothes and put on a gray Puma sweatsuit. Did you see him change clothes? No. Okay. And I want to ask you, did, what, if anything, did he have in terms of a phone when you saw him on Friday? It was a phone in his car, and I asked him where did he get it from because it looked like a female phone. And why do you say it looked like a female it phone? It was a rose gold iPhone, and it was in perfect condition. All right. And where was it located? In the, it's a button that you mash and the radio thing go up. It was in there. So is there like a holder or something beside? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. All right, and so that's where it was? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Did you ask him where that phone was from? I asked him where did he get it from. What did he tell you? He found it. And you stated again, what kind of condition was it in? It was in perfect condition. Did it look like it had been dropped? No. Did it look like it had been in the dirt? No. Did he ask you, or did he tell you anything about what he planned to do with that phone? He said he was trying to get it flashed over for me, but I don't do iPhones. What do you like? I like Androids. All right. So you didn't need that phone? No. And did you have a phone? Yes, ma'am. So he leaves? Yes, ma'am. All right. Does he come back to your house mm. after he leaves with his friends? No. All right. When is the next time you know anything about this case. What do you see? Um, when it was on the news, I seen that she was, the, she was missing, and then they showed the clip of his car. And what did you think when you saw the car? It all made sense to me now. What do you mean by that? The, um, the blood, she's missing, that's his car. How'd you know it was his car? Because it had mud on the back by the fender. And what? Why didn't you call the police at that moment? I was scared. So what did you do? Did you go to work? No. Why not? Because I had to get myself together so I faked uh, my baby being sick to take her to doctor's care so I could get myself together. Who took you? His brother. And what, if anything, did you say to him about the car? Or there being blood in it. That looks like Nate's car. All right. And did police ever come speak with you? Yes, ma'am. And when was that? The first time they came, I, don't, I forgot what day it was, but I had did a double shift, and they came and woke me up out of my sleep. And then they came back three, two to three days later. Okay. But I was, I was off. So I was recuperated. So I'm going to start with the first time you speak with them. Mm -hmm. I think you just told the jury you had a double shift. What was a double shift? I worked <coughs> over 12 hours that day. Over 12 hours? Yes, ma'am. And you went home and went to sleep? Yes, ma'am. And they woke you up? Yes, ma'am. So were you tired or well rested when you talked? I was about? tired, exhausted. And were you able, were you trying to be helpful when you talked to them? I was. Were you able to tell them everything at that point? I thought I told them what I could at the time. Did they do question like I'm doing with you or was it just talk to them? It was just talking. Did you leave out some things? Yeah. Did you do it on purpose? No. And you said they talked to you another time and at that point you'd had some sleep. Yes, ma'am. And were you, did you talk to them? Yes, ma'am. Did you try to tell them everything you could? Yes, ma'am. All right. And they asked to look at your phone. Did you let them? Yes, ma'am. And do you remember what they did with your phone? And I just know they had it for a long time. They took it from you? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm sorry. They took it from you? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, did they give it back to you? Yes, ma'am. All right. Did you have any problems with that? No. What, if anything, did they do at your house? They searched my house. 
Did you have any problems with that? No. Do you remember if his phone was working on the 28th and the 29th? Could you call it? No. Why not? It was, the bill was supposed to be paid. And he didn't pay the bill, so he was using my Wi-Fi. What do you mean by using your Wi-Fi? The, use the internet. So He would connect the phone to the Wi-Fi. For the, um, so internet. the phone worked? Yeah, they worked, but you just had to be connected to the Wi-Fi. And I'm going to ask you, I'm skipping around a little bit, make sure I covered everything. When you came home from being at McDonald's and he didn't pick you up, so this would be the 28th, and he, you said he, you knocked on the door, he looked shook. Did you, could you tell if he'd been asleep? Yes, ma'am. How did you know? I could tell when he'd been asleep. Like, he got this look where he, you can tell a person been asleep. And where had he been sleeping? Could you tell that? He was in my room, but he wasn't on my bed. How could you tell that? Because the cover and stuff was on the floor. And on the floor? Yes, ma'am. And were his clothes clean or dirty? Dirty. Could you tell what was on them? Blood. You could see it? Yes, ma'am. Um, did you ever notice anything about, what if anything did you notice about Chloe's shoes after she got out of his car? Um, when I took her to doctor's care and she was sitting on the table, she had blood on the bottom of her shoes. Okay. And so what did you do? I took them off from her and threw them in the closet. Okay. 